Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woking. I'm back with some good old Pokemon Nuzlocke. The daily series that does not stop even though we're 100 episodes in. And I did promise last episode we were going to continue on forward, but then I completely forgot that I also promised that we are going to catch a damn Dratini. So that's what we're going to do today. We're on Operation Dratini Hunt. So we have to go make our ass back to, to jo to Hoenn. I was going to call it Joen, but that's not what it's called. Hoenn. Um, to the only spot that has Dratini and use Super Rods until we find Dratini. And then from that point, um, we'll figure out what's going to happen. Okay, let's go. Jumps up and down in the train. Very cute. It's a cute-ass game. I don't know if you know this. Later, dude. Bum, bum. I have no idea how long this is going to take. Um, I have the Super Rod. The entire reason we went to go even wait this long to try and catch a Dratini is because it take, it was like a 5% chance on a Great Rod, and I want to say it's maybe 30 on a Super. So... And I think the only two Pokemon in the water are one Magikarps and two um, Dratini. Those are the only two Pokemon in there. Oh, actually, you know what? I think with Super Rod you have a chance of running into a... Um, a Dragonair, I believe. So, we'll see which one we run in. We, we run into, and if we run into any of them. But that's what today's episode is going to be completely based off of. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. And here it is. Let's go, fish! Fish in time. Not even a nimble? Nibble? I'll go here. How about here? A little nibble here? Yeah. Much better fishing spot. Got a bite. Hmm. Just a Magikarp. A level 40 Magikarp? It must be because of the Super Rod. I was gonna say, what the hell is a level 40 freaking Magikarp doing here? I should try fishing outside the den as well. Because I never caught anything in Blackthorn, not even a nibble. Not even a nibble. Alright, I'm gonna move a little bit. We're having some very bad luck fishing today. But... Wow, not even a nibble? Give a little nibble. There we go. Who nibbling on my rod? Is it you, Dratini? No, it's a damn Magikarp. Leave, Magikarp. Ain't nobody wants you. We already had a beautiful Gyarados. We also have a Magikarp, technically. You can never replace Super Saiyan John, Johan, and his mom, Ish Ishinor or something. I forget her name. Alright. Dum, 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 dum. <gasps> oh, it's Dragonair! Oh. That's gonna be much harder to catch than Jatini. I am never going to use this ball. I'm going to do it. Go, Master Ball, go. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Using the Master Ball to catch a dragon there. Mine. I was afraid it was going to run away. I have, What is that one Pokemon? I think we ran into a Pokemon that ran away, and if that Pokemon runs away, then this thing has a chance to run away. The dragon Pokemon, it Chris... It, the crystalline orb appears to give it the Pokemon the power to freely control the weather. Yeah. What do we name the all-powerful Dragonair? Um, oh, it's female. So, what's a good female dragon? Um, oh, I know. We'll name her after... What? No. Quetz. Named after Quetzalcoatl, who is named after... who is the inspiration for Quetzalcoatl, the giant, um, Hispanic god of destruction, basically. Alright, we got Quetz in the party now. Doop, doop, doop. I'm gonna see if I can catch anything on here. Is there a Pokemon that's not a Dragonair that's in here? scaring all the fish. Right. I don't have
have it in me to search for a buttload of Magikarp. Alright, let's add Quetz to the team real quick. I think, I don't think she evolves until like level 45 though, so this is going to be a long ass time before she does anything for the team really. It does help that she's level 40 though, I will say. Let's see. I can have... Oh, it's over. Alright. So that means that we actually get to wake up Snorlax as well in this episode. Alright! I'm gonna consider Operation Dratini Hunt a success, even though we failed to catch a Dratini. And I did just throw a Master Ball at a Dragonair. But, I don't care. I was never gonna use that thing on anything else. I was never gonna run into a Legendary. <laughs> the... Well, I could have used it on one of the birds, but I don't feel like going after Lugia, to be honest. I could, I just don't want to. Because it's a pain in the butt. Alright, let's see. Oh, okay, this isn't time to be using that. Ah, oh, damn it, Oak. Let me see if we can find a Pokemon now with Super Rod over... Ding, ding, right here, the million city. Let's see, can we find them? So I find something good? Or something at least that we don't have. I'll accept both. God damn it. It's another one of these bastard Pokemon. The Raiders don't waste your time with him. What did I just say? What did I just say? Okay, this guy wants to, wants to deal damage. I'm gonna go to my damage dealing Pokemon then. Battle dance! Oh no, you're gonna shoot bubbles at Jolene? That does nothing! Wow, it was a crit. But it's okay because it did nothing. Die, Tentacruel. That's bad. That's actually very bad. Oh no. Jolene, get out of Battle Dance! You need to get out of Battle Dance! No! No! Not like this! Not like this! I'm never underestimating a fucking. I forgot that you lose poison. So you're actually very. That was a very bad situation for everyone. Alright. My bad. My B on that one. We can all agree. Oh, we needed, jo we needed Jolene too for Brock. So that would have been very bad. Very, very bad. Alright. Okay, Valley. It's time to get in the box. And it's time to welcome in our new beautiful dragon woman. Valley, here you go. That's the uh, taxi service known as Valley. Hello, dragon egg. Quats? No, it's not Quats, it's Quats. Did I spell it wrong? I totally spelled it wrong. I know it said Quatsaquaddle, but I never realized that I pronounce it, um... Quats... Quatsaquaddle. Aw, oh, damn it. I totally spelled Quetz's name wrong. Uh, I'll have to fix that later. Remind me in the next town over or something to fix Quetz's name. But for now, we need to give her all the AXP in the world. Take... Right, do we give... Ooh, we have Dragon Fang. It's gonna be good for her. There we go. Now we will need... Kefisto up front, because we are about to attack... Senor Snowlax.
Bogier was placed near the sleeping Snorlax. And he woke up. Wouldn't it be funny if this thing was like level 50? Let's find out. Shit. <laughs> That's bad. I mean, we're close enough. There's no way that Snorlax knows some kind of crazy busted move, right? Let's find out. Together. She knows Body Slam. I mean, it's not a crazy busted move. Sorry, it doesn't know that move. Alright. Fair enough. Let's see. Body slam. Storm smell. Snore slam! Damn, really? You gonna hit me with that paralysis? It's a good thing I switched into Kid Fisto. Using the Ultra Ball. Really easy. Nice. Its stomach's digestion juice can dissolve any kind of poison. It can even eat things off the ground. Yeah. I will name you... be named Butter Butterfing Go Butterfing Alright Butterfing's now in the box. Damn it. I wonder if I should actually make room for Butterfing now that I hmm. It's time to reflect on the team. I think I'm pretty satisfied with what we are now, I think. I don't think we need Butterfang, but it's nice to have Butterfang as an option. Let's see. Right here, I need to go here, and then I need to get the bicycle selected. Then I'll just use it. I'm on the bike. And we will heal, because someone's paralyzed. And that's annoying to deal with. And then next episode, we're going to actually move forward. All right, everyone. That was today's episode. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Good. Bye.